people, what's up, it's Amber. Do you notice anything different today? Hmm? That's right, we're not in my room. We're in my kitchen. I don't know why, but you guys wanted to see me film somewhere else. So here I am, uh, featuring a crock pot and some dirty dishes. Are you guys sure you wanted to see this? Anyways, not important, not what this video is about. So as you can tell by keys in hand, we're going to go on a shopping adventure today and I'm going to show you guys the best places to shop for home, dorm, room, bedroom, everything decor because I've moved quite a few times and after going to college and decorating my room in a new apartment, let me tell you if there's one thing that I do know how to do, it's find fabulous home decor on a budget and that looks super cute. So today I'm gonna take you with me and show you the best places to go. All right guys, we're kicking off the video with my favorite place of all. Home Goods. Home Goods is basically the greatest store in the history of all time ever. I'm like such a suburban housewife. I come here all the time and just hang out looking for like cool new placemats even though I'm 23 and alone. But this place seriously has everything. Like look at the sparkly pillows and the sparkly everything else. And that's just one aisle. Look, it goes on and on and on and on forever. Blankets, kitchenware, groovy, whatever the heck this is. The selection is ridiculous and so cheap it just makes my heart flutter. But the best part about this place, the mirrors. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, hello. This is my outfit of the day, by the way. I look literally so ridiculous. But anyways, most of all these places are just full of a bunch of things that I want but don't need. But also can't resist buying. Like, oh my gosh, this fluffy pillow is gorge. And oh my God, I feel spiritually connected to this trash can. I could honestly go on and on about home goods for like a hundred million years, but for now, I will go ahead and take you to our next stop. Next stop, Z Gallery. Z Gallery is me if I was a furniture store. Everything is luxe and over the top and completely aesthetic-y. So unfortunately for us, all the really nice stuff is really expensive, but what I like to get here is the accessories. This is where I get all my fancy glittery placemats and other super fun, unique accessories. <gasps> Ooh, oh my God. <gasps> Should I buy these? Yes. This store is truly just the absolute definition of my favorite word, aesthetics. But my fave thing about this store is the art. Look at it, paintings of shoes and perfume bottles and all things girly to add the spice of glam to your home. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this piece of art. <gasps> it's an angel wing. Ma'am, I wish I had somewhere to put that in my apartment. From picture frames to lamps to table decor, this is basically what I want my future life to look like. Goals, man. Goals. To be honest, my real advice is if you can afford it, buy everything here. But since I know me and the rest of the world can't afford a $2,000 couch, um, definitely just stick to the accessories. But this place is a great place to find some super cute stuff. Next on the list, good old Ikea. Ikea is basically the forever 21 of furniture shopping. It's huge, totally overwhelming, but best of all, it's cheap and full of treasures. It's basically just like a giant maze in here, but when it comes to home decor, you're not gonna find anywhere cheaper. From chairs to couches to everything in between, Ikea has the best prices on all the best basics. And just like a plain t-shirt from forever, the basics here are easy to dress up to look millionaire fabulous. Like add in cool lighting to the plain black table and ba-bam, dream kitchen. But the best of all thing about Ikea is the shelves. I'm obsessed with their shelving units. I own like a thousand of them. Like Ikea's where I got all the beautiful shelves for my favorite thing in my house, my shoe wall. Do you recognize that? It's also where I got my little mirror that hangs above my bed. And it's also where I got my mirror for my vanity mirror. Ikea is like a giant adventure, but well, well worth it. Number three, discount stores. Discount stores are freaking awesome and totally underrated. Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all these places are the bomb and full of little trinkets and treasures. Not to mention most of them are designer at like half the OG price. I come to stores like these to get all my little trinkets and stuff. Like basically it's just like a little wonderland full of sparklies and glitteries and everything I never knew I needed till I saw it. They even have pretty good deals on little mini furnitures. Like look at this cool little whatever the heck this is. 40 bucks, amazing. It is just so fun in here. Oh my God, I could literally frolic in the aisles forever. And last but not least, we're actually not going anywhere. Online. 
Online is where it's at. Amazon and Overstock are lifesavers when it comes to home decor because not only can you Google literally exactly what you're looking for, um, it's delivered right to your door and usually at a massive discount. Like I got my bed on Overstock for $300. That's less than like one chair at a fancy furniture store. Online is a time and money saver and what's better than that? Earning it a spot at number five and wrapping up my list. Would you look at that? We're back in my kitchen. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it, you guys. Those are my top five picks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, if you have any more questions, comments, concerns, all my socials are at Amber Scholl. Oh, look at that pom pom. They're at Amber Scholl. <laughs> so if you uh, want to hit me up on there, feel free. I love you guys so very much. Happy decorating. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more fun shenanigans. And I will see you guys next time. I love you. Kisses, my sweet baby angels. XO. Next up, Z. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs>